Hey there, everybody. Thet here, and welcome back to Thet Plays the Darkest Dungeon. Last time, Retro Kalizo, Gumball, and Parrish had to go to closing on Earthly Portal. Apparently, the worst is yet to come. Uh, wasn't what we were expecting, but it's what we got. I still want to go to the Sunward Isles. So we're still going to go. Try to get this Warlord's Menpo for the Leper. And to do this, we're going to take a level 0 team and see how they do. We got Howard the Man-at-Arms with the Salamander, Lightsaber, Legendary Bracer, and Infinity Edge for maximum damage and hopefully maximum slapbacks as well. We got uh, Talipede, the Flagellant, with the Punishment Hood for extra damage if its health gets too low. Uh, Morgan's Head and Deathbringer for extra bleed chance as well as damage. And the, friend, the Fenrir for dodge at max HP and speed. He can punish, he can Reign of Sorrows... He can redeem to heal, and he can suffer to, you know, remove his own stress at the cost of HP. Big buff, so. We got Kylie in the back, an arsonist with the Siren's Lure, Necromancer's Scroll, and the Life Soul Key. I don't know what I would put as a fourth item yet, so I kind of left it alone. He does have a Slashing Strike. If he gets moved forward, he can hit someone and bleed him. From his current position, he can use the Molotov Cocktail. Which ups the torch, does damage over time. He can be hot-headed, so if he gets moved to the back, he can use this to move himself up. As well as pull an enemy forward, mark them, activate slapback, and there's a small chance of giving him a block. And then finally, Red Hot Poker. Giggity. Uh, armor piercing, bypasses stealth, marks the target. Seems like a good time all around. And we got Carter at the Night Sister in the back with the, uh, the Musket Ball, Blessed Coat, Tendorial's Head, and Royal Guard. If you can't tell from the coat, the head, and the Royal Guard, she has Stress Relief in the form of Goddess Rhapsody, which is a party regular heal and a chance at a Stress Heal, and applies two blocks. Lunarian Tears, which is a heal that also uh, applies dodge to the target. Moon Motes, which is her only current damaging attack. Bypasses Guard, breaks Guard, Armor Pierces, uh, lowers Accuracy and Crit. And then if she gets not knocked up to the front, Knight Assassin will allow her to move back and stealth. We do have other abilities, but that's pretty much all from the back. So the back position isn't our best position, but we're taking it anyway this time. And we're just going to hope it doesn't backfire too much. Uh, we're going to prepare quite heavily with all this stuff. We have a decent amount of gold right now. We're going to explore the aisles as much as we can. And maybe we'll just learn a thing or two. Maybe we won't. Maybe we'll just be... Be dumb. Who knows? Let's find out. Alright. I might head down and then go around, but let's see if we get a scout here or here, and that might uh, inform us more effectively about where we would end up going. We didn't get an initial scout, which always hurts. You don't do anything for us. I know this. Unless something's been changed recently. Oh, okay. Ancient traps lie in wait. Unsprung and thirsting for blood. Minus 10 accuracy for 16 rounds. Thankfully, her, you know, attack isn't her strongest suit. Gr I love that battle animation she's got, though. Looks awesome, immediately with the Grievous exposure. Got a Kappa, an Oni, and a Wandering Yure. Let's see if we can get the damage over time on the Yure. There it is, she's on fire! And oh my god, that looks amazing! That looks absolutely killer, dude! Oh my god, I'm flabbergasted! That fire looks awesome! Well done by the makers of the Arcanist! Alright, let's go for the restoration. A little bit of stress relief going around, and she does have blocks, which is nice. Let's go for the slapback here on Howard. The slapback... Wow, the slapback kill comes with so much damage already. Hit me. He's doing it. Bam, baby. I love it. I love it a lot. Get rid of the Kappa if we can. In two rounds, he would be gone. We could cocktail him right now. I think I'm going to do it. There we go. That pull forward's pretty nice, too. Thanks to the ability. Fresh water, of course, uses water. I mean, to be fair, that just makes sense. Skull Bash. 
was dodged. Would have been blocked anyway, so who cares? Uh, moon Moats hits the front row, so let's go for it. Get moated by the moon, dudes. Also, slapped. Press this advantage. Very nice. Howard up here being a killing machine. You know what, since we got that, let's go ahead and suffer. Get some stress relief. So when does the fire burn him? Or does it not, or did I get it wrong at how it works? I don't know if I did. Uh, you know what, let's go for the Rhapsody one more time. It did move her up, I think that's okay. Deals 9 damage over time. Hmm. Bring it on! Dude, his animations are freaking amazing. Like, absolutely great. I mean, we can still Reign of Sorrows from here, so that's fine. And he's dead. Well, this team seems to be fun as hell. Love that restoration. She has no way of getting rid of her own stress, though, which is slightly unfortunate. Also, she seems to be a, a magnet for these damn traps. Can I get a scout here, please? No! Alright, I'm gonna go this way anyway, because screw it, you can't tell me what to do. Hey, if you do, we'll throw a Molotov at your face. Because that's how we do now, apparently. Yeah, I cannot wait to explore the Arsonist some more. Oh, we have plenty of ways to get rid of uh, and bypass the stealth. Don't lick me. Oh, God! He's gross! Like, this could do it, but of course this hits the front row, not the back. Still. Well, that sucked a bit. <laughs> Still, we could poke him! How'd you like my red hot poker, buddy? That range is pretty good. We've been assaulted viciously. It's alright, Flagellant likes to bleed. Uh, get him. No, or don't. Alright, we'll, we'll try it again. Howard, you can do it, right? Nice try, you fool. Bam, baby! Executed with impunity. Slapbacks ready. All right, more licks the back row. That at least gets rid of the stealth, though. So it's fine. Let's see if we can... I mean, there's a 90% resist. The but we got it! A blazing star is born. That was a 10% chance to stun. I have no idea how we got so lucky. But we did. That was amazing. Bomb him, buddy! There we go. No, we tried to throw everything on the same dude. Didn't work out too well. Oh god, it's the cucumber! Help! Ah, the licks. They keep coming. They won't stop coming. Get him. Get this unfriendly jerka. He's gonna water? No, he's gonna cucumber again? I'm pretty sure that's illegal. You're not allowed to cucumber twice, buddy. Masterfully executed. Third time was a charm. She does have that accuracy debuff, so you know I get it. Poke him. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. And then bash. Nope. Never mind. Don't do it. Good job. You did exactly what I told you to do. Weapon that cuts on its own. Looks like your healing wasn't enough. Surge time. Wow, we got lucky with the move order there. And he got the kill. Oh, no, wait, it didn't, because he's healing. He has one health left. And... Oh, no. The Talons. Not the Talons. Let's get the heal over time. That's pretty darn nifty. Bring it on, dude. We aren't afraid of you. Not really. Yeah. Are we just mocking you at this point? Maybe. <laughs> Let's go ahead and throw down the redeem. Uh, heals himself, and then the target gets extra healing received. Well, that's interesting. Huh. Unholy recovery. 
You used it on the wrong person, dude. You did it incorrectly, Red Hot Poker. Surges as the enemy crumbles. I love it when he hits people with his Red Hot Poker. Anyway, good stuff. As victories mount, so too will resistance. Let's find some things to kill, says Talipede. Talipide? I don't know, dude. What you got for me? You got the drummer, the Shogoru. Good dodges. Alright, I love it when we get some good dodges like that. Uh, no, no, no. Just go for that. Ooh, baby. Nice stuff. Love it. He actually got rid of all of his stress. You know what? Let's go ahead and burn this boy. Welcome to the front line. Enjoy your extra crits received. The ground quakes. Oh, that was delicious. Even more delicious. A faint hope blossoms. All right, I feel like our uh, trinket game is pretty strong now. Ooh, ah, stun. A death by inches. We didn't lose too much from that, but still, it hurts. Yo, that would be as the blocks on lock. Can he use um, redeem, on, redeem on himself? He can. He can just up his own healing received. Hot dang. Yo, I'm loving this guy, though. He's so fun. Oh, no, Howard. That's okay. He's going to slap back with power. Or not. The blind hitting the blind over here. And these moon motes are solid. I like how we applied the extra healing and then we didn't just didn't use it. We just didn't use it. Red Hot Poker gets the kill again. Dodge. Double dodge. There's the damage over time. Okay, so the fire damage happens after they move. Good to know. Either way, the animation for it is amazing. Trifling victory. But a victory nonetheless. Burn it down, dude. Somehow we got three keys. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. Pretty sure we only bought one. All right. Immediately a new battle. Okay. Got a spider up front. That's not a Sunward Isles enemy. What are you doing here? Ah, it bit me. Oh, God. Oh, no. Throw down the restoration here. There's a retaliating rhythm. We knew it'd be coming. That's all right. We'll hit you until the slapbacks dissipate. Give you a nice point and two. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, and that's a block on him too. Five damage slapback. He still got stunned, which sucks. It lowered his stun resist though, which is interesting. Dang it. We got him with a 90% resist, but we missed him with that one. That hurts, man. Hurts my soul. No double dodge this time. Festering fear consumes the mind. The fear is festered. The mind is consumed. The tone is soothing. I hate it. Minus 20% damage taken? Frick. This is armor piercing, which actually doesn't make sense because it, it's percentage damage taken. But at least we blocked the slap back. Well done. The light, the promise of safety. No, don't hit him. No! Oh, God. He's bleeding. Should probably get the stress out of here. Even the boldest. Seems to be climbing, climbing pretty high. All right, one down. Eerie timber. It's more stress. Actually, it's debuffs. Uh, go ahead and throw this on her. She has a stress slap back because, of course, she does. But the fire's good. 
Go ahead and sing some songs of our people here. All right. Another Boom, baby. Holds. Reactivate that mark and slap back. Can you do anything else, please? Gnawing uncertainty. Please. The birthplace of dread. More eerie timber. Confusion. Nerves. And panic. All right. Get no. Oy vey! There we go. She's gone! It's gonna take a while, but she's definitely gone. Go ahead and play this again. There we go. A little bit of additional stress relief. Beautiful! Howard is killing it with these retribution attacks, dude! Yeah, we probably should have aimed a little bit more at her. Success Whoops. So clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Yeah, you know, I'm kind of tempted to leave her in the second position just to see her use Night Assassin. Yeah, boy, there's the heavy breathing. Hey, a surprise. That's nice. Might be able to get some actual kills up in here. Let's get... Mm, no pullback, huh? Dang it, that's not gonna get a kill. Might get a kill on you if we bleed you. Not enough for a kill! There we go. Woo! For a minute there, I was actually concerned. Nice! Looks good, gives you stealth, ups your accuracy. What a good move. Don't bite me. Ah, I've been bit! My back! He bit my back! Oh no. He is dead this turn. So yeah, I was gonna say who cares. This is how a life is taken. Well, if we've learned anything, yeah, I don't I know I have the anti-venom, but I don't care too much. If we learned anything, it's that uh the Sunward Isles has plenty of stress and apparently plenty of gold. Because we are getting we are making bank here. I don't know why. When I see this background and that obstacle, I always think I'm going to fight the dual tree, but the dual tree's not here. Mechanical hazards possessed by evil intent. Okay. Two more rooms to go. There's a shark. Should we bleed the shark right away? Yeah. I think we should. And it's my decision, isn't it? Uh, anyway. Hit them both. That minus accuracy is actually kind of big. The dodge makes me feel very happy. Let's go ahead and bomb him. There we go. Good stuff. Okay, let's see who moves first. He moved first. What's his damage? Oh, God! Dang! There we go. At least now we're in Slapback City. We find victory. May we find victory in Slapback City. Good bleed. He's dead in two turns. He's dead now. Beautiful. Now let's burn this damn shark. Oh, the 16 damage Slapback! That was friggin' beautiful! Burn him! This shark is on fire! And he's dead! Alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. What was all of that amazingness? That overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Remember guys, overconfidence, something, something we win every time. I'm digging this team. I think they could do with a better healer. And I think the Night Sister would be better in a different party. So I think she would be out. Uh, there's probably better uses for the arsonist. I think this team works okay together, though. That was the first time we're seeing the crab. Hi, crab. How you doing? Nice to see you for the first time. Uh, we're gonna hit you now. There's the bleed. Solid bleed is enough to get kills. Okay. No, we can't hit you no matter what, so... Let's just go ahead and hit you again. 
As the light gains purchase, Open up the gates to Slapback City. Lifted, and purpose is made clear. And then burn, maybe burn. Discus and Furnace. Oh, no pull forward. Dang it. Bird of Retreat. Back to the pit. No retreats for you. Yuri Timber. That's debuffs. Oh, good. He attacked. Hey, if he attacked, that means he didn't heal. If he didn't heal, that means we could do this. And nearly get him killed. You know, just... Ah, I was just going to say, just oop him. There we go. Just wanted to go with the highest accuracy, you know? Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. I don't know if you can use this or not. This old shrine. Oh, but you probably use it with this, right? Yeah, I should have known. Uh, it's if a major Omomori. Could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. That why'd you bring the anti venom if you weren't going to use it? Look, I don't know, man. Ten out of ten scout doesn't really help us. I mean, it gives us the trap. But other than that, just a bunch of fights we have to fight. Who's our best trap disarmor? 50, 40, 70, 60. It is the arsonist. Cool. He's probably familiar with, you know, traps. Especially ones that explode. We're technically done. How you doing, Hakataku? Uh, who gets your wisdom? Assuming you're dispensing wisdom today. I think the arsonist will get your wisdom. Talk to me. What can I say? I am falling in love with this this class extremely quickly. So, he gets Hakutaku's wisdom. Sorry if you were opposed to it. Anyway, we're gonna go to the end. And this reinforces my judgment so far. This is gonna hurt. Yep, that hurt! Really? You speed three little bastards went faster? Lee gets the kill. The burn won't get the kill, but it moves you forward. The extra crits received. Oh, he was at 69 stress. That was nice. Okay, let's go for the heals and stress reliefs. All right, it's bringing it down. It's bringing it down. That's what's important. Okay. Okay. Another Good stuff. Cleansed from our lands. Now we should just have weak attacks. There you go. Another another block of stress down. The whip. That is a stun maneuver. But it didn't work. Extra speed won't help you that much. Decimated. Dude, Howard is just critting like crazy. I don't this even know where he's put that all. At least promises success. Oh, Yes. The overtimes, uh, esoteric go table. I feel like this is useful with something as well. But I don't know what. Maybe smashing it. No. Maybe bandaging it. No. Maybe torching it. No. Okay. Restless conscience. Minus accuracy, extra stress damage received. Well, that's obviously terrible in every way. This one's good. But I don't think it's good to torch it. There you go. Graceless quirk removed. Okay, okay. I was like, I know you gotta do something with it. It's usually the Omomora. I should just test that first every time. Hey! It's the, uh, Bakakujira. A.K.A. Biggest Lattice. Good bleed. Yeah, baby! I look upon the lost souls and broken dreams, and I say, screw your trash! Light that baby on fire. Give me the slapback potential. The way is lit. Let's wreck them. Oh! Slapback. Get slapbacked for the dead. Alright. Unfortunately, bones don't bleed, so I've been told. That's okay, though. We're gonna keep playing our song. Fighting against, against the stress as quickly as we can, but... 
Obviously, it is still strong. Good hit, good hit. Oh, he's expanding! Holy crap. He got so big. Let's go ahead and just get rid of our own stress. Remember, if we get his health below 40%, he can do a lot more damage. I mean, you just throw every time. That's all you gotta do. I don't know if it actually gets stronger over time or not. Give me that crit. That ain't a crit. That's okay. We do lose the slap back, so that actually wasn't the best move. Should have just reinforced it. He bursted. Okay. Good damage. One more hit like that and we're done. There it is. size has no intrinsic merit. Unless inordinate exsanguination be considered a virtue. Which I don't think it is. Look at this team. Furtive and vulnerable. Rats in a maze. They did pretty well. Uh, let's see what we got as far as camping skills. Encourage will be great. If we don't have anything better to use. Instruction. Weapons practice. All good. Lash is solace. Loses health. Reduces stress by 40. Or lashes anger, which ups it by 40. Uh, of course, uh, the arsonist is reaching out of the fire. Uh, for the goddess. Reduces stress. More, if not religious. Midnight blessing. Uh, extra crit to range skills for herself and extra accuracy for everyone else. And finally, the arsonist Pyromania. Minus 25 stress. Less stress damage received. Everyone else has a chance of gaining stress. Destroy evil. Extra damage and crit versus beast and eldritch enemies. Very nice. We gotta use this first. That was humongous. Stir bark for the old gods. Um, use this to get rid of that stress completely. Let's try to get rid of her stress as much as we can. By yelling to the line at her. Nothing reduces stress like yelling at your companions. And then I guess uh, boost the accuracy of our arsonist. Why not? Sturbark Midnight Blessing. Well done. I couldn't have said it better myself. No nighttime ambush prevention. Darkness closes in, haunting the hearts of men. You know what? This is okay. This is a very low stress group of enemies. So I think we can survive this relatively quickly. The problem is the horror, which is too late to do anything about that. Uh, let's go for the stabbing on you. Oh, no! That was not good. Pull him forward, see if we can prevent the slapbacks, but we probably can't at this point. Okay, used Eerie Timber, which means he's not throwing out slapbacks yet. Diminished. And he burns, baby. He burns. Futile Reach. Crap, that moves him up. No, it's not crap. Because Retribution can hit the third row. No, now he's in the back. That's crap. Ah, crap. <laughs> ah! Oh, no! Get the slap back ready. Crunch me, bro. Bam, baby! You gotta love a double-digit slap back. Well, that sucked. For us. Bleed him. There you go. Oh crap, he can leap from there? Oh no! Blood vision. The end approaches. Well, obviously we're going for the heal. Thankfully she can throw down single target heals as well, which will also up his dodge. Wait, it ups for the whole battle? That ups dodge for the whole battle? You can stack dodge? That's madness, dude! Absolute madness! Doesn't that up the torch? Yeah, it does. Okay. So, the Shogoru will die next turn. Good slapback. Was hoping for a crit slapback, but, you know, you can hope all you want. Doesn't mean you're gonna get it. Great damage. Bleed him. Oi! He, they're all dead. Well, the Shogoru might move first. You can stack the dodge? That's gotta be an oversight, right? There's no way that was intentional. Bye-bye. Oh, wow. He went first. We got lucky there. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. Alright, this is the task end, because we've done it. 
Good work, team. I like the idea of this. Extra crit and speed every time a leper hits someone. Give him some good accuracy. You could uh, play with that quite a bit. And it's at the cost of only stress damage received. Actually seems like a really good trinket now that I think about it. All right, level one for everybody. Fear the pet patrol was gained, but that's not the biggest deal in the universe. The degeneracy of the hamlet is nothing, I fear, when compared to the condition of surrounding acres. A terrible skeleton has approached our hamlet, despite the guard's best efforts. Its visage is ghastly, its demeanor grim, but it seems willing to aid our plight. We should not turn this opportunity aside. The Walking Dead. We're gonna have to change the name, Callie, because we already got a Callie. The Black Guard has joined us. And he looks pretty swooed. I guess he does have a weak grip on life, you could say that. Can't be guarded. Extra dodge after the first round. Pulverize! Extra damage per 25 darkness, so the darker he gets, the stronger he gets. Ooh. I think I know someone who you will work well with. Extra bleed amount per darkness with lifesteal. And it heals himself. Relinquish. Heal minus torch. Uh, extra healing if the torch is low. Suffer damage. And blearing. Blearing? Hmm. Uh, no damage. Lowers the torch. Lowers accuracy. And extra accuracy against mark... Minus accuracy against mark targets. Oh. All right. Then he has some other moves as well, of course. He can immobilize himself, which can definitely be good. And in fact, using Exoriable makes it so that Relinquish does less damage to himself. Neat! Definitely taking him. No rest. No peace for this wretched soul. Pretty good quote, actually. Uh, grease rags for the arsonist. Molotov's cocktail does extra damage. It's not... It doesn't have that much damage in the first place, so that's not really that good, in my opinion. Binding chains for the air. Extra damage, extra move resist. I was only a child, and still they used me. I'm feeling like that is... Um, Gumball type air, as opposed to one of the other two. And then a profaned coffin for the Voivode. I don't want to know what you profaned it with. Uh, <laughs> virtue chance, uh, less stress if not in combat. That's interesting. Uh, double stress healed in camp, plus 500% stress healed in town. Less speed on the first round. Interesting trinket. We're not going to buy it because that's way too expensive for right now. Got a Beastmaster, an Eris, uh, Claimants, and Enigma. Any good traits here? Giant Slayer's pretty decent. Glutton's not. Tipler, Ambitious. Easily Intimidated, Fear of Eldritch. And, of course, the Enigma doesn't come with anything. I kind of want Verdun. Because I kind of want... Beastmaster. Th that... Of nature's primal savagery. Kind of want this, but yeah. What Ancestor said. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. If that plays the darkest dungeon, if you enjoyed it, make sure to let me know by giving it a like. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe for more because it'll keep coming and it probably won't stop coming. Until next time, thanks again for watching this episode of Darkest Dungeon. My name is Thet, and I will see you in the next video, my dudes.